Pixar's Inside Out 2 is making history. And I don't think anyone expected this monumental of a win for Inside Out 2 or Pixar, given the state of the box office for the first half of the year. Inside Out 2 just passed the original 2015 film, which grossed $857 million internationally, and in just 14 days, the sequel is at over $863 million. And the sequel was originally projected to make $90 million domestically on its opening weekend, which in the end, it made $155 million. That's $65 million more than its opening projection. And on top of this, Inside Out 2's second weekend saw $100 million ma made domestically. That makes Inside Out 2 only the seventh film in history to make $100 million on its second weekend. It dropped just 35%, which was reported to be the best hold at the box office for any film that opened at $150 million or higher. The film is definitely making a run for a billion dollars. It's already ranked 9th in all-time animated domestic box office and 19th in all-time worldwide animated box office. It's easily outpaced the previous movie and is gearing up to make a run at Pixar's previous highest grossing film, uh, The Incredibles 2. Let's take a look at this graph. So you can see here we have Incredibles 2 in blue, Frozen 2 in red, Inside Out 2 in orange, and the original 2015 Inside Out in green. Now this graph shows the domestic box office for each of these films, and you can actually see that Inside Out 2 is starting to outpace um, every single one of them. Now this is currently showing unadjusted for inflation, but I, I will get back to that later. Um, so you can see surprisingly, uh, Inside Out, the original one, which did not cross over a billion dollars, is expectedly you know, the lowest here, um, but had a pretty decent beginning and then really started to flatten out. Uh, you can see Frozen 2 had the most fluctuation, it, you know, it rose a lot more in the beginning and continued to hold. Uh, and Incredibles 2 just seemed to keep going and going and going. So interestingly, um, Inside Out 2 is outpacing all of these domestically. Now, it's no secret that Incredibles 2 and Frozen 2 had a big help from the international box office, and as of right now, we don't totally see that with Inside Out 2. Um, it's definitely more of a 50-50 split, um, much more so than any of these other films. Um, but I also wanted to direct your attention to the weak comparison, because this really shows Inside Out 2's legs and, and just how it's performing in general. So the opening week, Inside Out 2 made 255 million, and uh, Inside Out made two, you know, 133 million, Frozen 2 made 203 million, and Incredibles 2 made 269 to 260, uh, or 270 million. So Inside Out 2 was just behind The Incredibles 2 there, but um, much higher than the original Inside Out and much higher than Frozen 2. And this is international box office um, by week. Now, this interestingly here, the second week, Inside Out 2 was the clear winner here, making 30 million more than Incredibles 2 did. So definitely Inside Out 2 is doing really well domestically. Now I wanna flip the graph to um, adjusting for inflation. Here's where things get a bit more interesting um, and kind of expectedly so. We saw Inside Out 2 staying pretty close and just starting to beat Incredibles 2 unadjusted. And now you see for adjusted, it kind of falls in between Incredibles 2 and Frozen 2. But even with adjusting for inflation, Inside Out 2 was still the second highest uh, grossing opening week internationally. And it is still the highest grossing um, internationally for the second week as well. And another thing I would like to note here is if you adjust for inflation, Inside Out 2 had the second lowest budget here. Um, Inside Out, the original, had a budget of 200 million as well, but that was back in 2015. Now, if you adjust that 200 million to today's dollar amount, uh, it costed around 224 million. So. Inside Out 2 is doing really well at the box office and for a cheaper budget. Now just to give you a little bit more reference and context to how well Inside Out 2 is doing compared to some of these other films. So it took 46 days for Incredibles 2 to reach a billion dollars. It ended its run with you know 1.242 billion. And Frozen 2 ended its run with 1,453,000,000. Um, but Frozen 2 
took only took 23 days to hit a billion. Now this is including domestic and, and worldwide and international growth, uh, gross obviously. But Inside Out 2 is on pace to reach it this weekend. So that would give us a day range of 15 to 18 days. So it is gonna clearly beat Incredibles 2 to a billion and it's likely gonna um, hit a billion faster than Frozen 2 as well. Another metric I want to mention um, is if Inside Out 2 can stay above $10 million domestically until Monday, which is this July 1st, um, it will have beaten Barbie, which came out last year, uh, and, and Barbie fell below $10 million domestically on its 18th day. And if, if it also held um, $10 million domestically up until Monday, it would also tie Top Gun Maverick, and we know how big of a hit that movie was, which dipped below $10 million on its 14th day. These are monstrous films to compare to, but even still, it looks like Inside Out 2 will hold at least until day 17 or 18. Incredible. So now what do I personally think about the film? Will it hold? Where will it end up in comparison to these other movies? Well, I think it has really good legs. It's definitely doing well domestically, where I think it's faltering a little bit right now. Not even really faltering, but it's just not seeing as as big of numbers internationally, although it was the number one or second highest grossing film in Latin America. Uh, but it is getting some records world, uh, internationally, but I just don't think it's going to be seeing like that 900 million or $976 million international number that Frozen 2 saw or even Incredibles um, 634 million. We might see it closer to Incredibles um, because Incredibles 2 was a, bit, a little bit more split. So Incredibles 2 was split 49% domestically and 51% internationally and Inside Out 2 is actually 47% uh, domestic and 52% um, international. So I think it's safe to say that it will definitely get close to Incredibles 2 and likely even pass it unadjusted for inflation. Um, it just remains to be seen if it will stay under Frozen 2 or if it can beat it as well. But I think it'll likely end between 1.2 to 1.5 billion dollars. So how was Inside Out 2 able to achieve all of this nine years after the first film? Well, for me personally, it starts with obviously having a good film, a good story, and a, and a reason for the film existing, which I think they definitely did that and achieved that. So it's resonating with a lot of people. Another thing that they did is, you know, traditionally this movie is it was is made for kids and families. The from when the first film came out nine years ago, these kids and families have grown up and are kind of almost following the story and able to experience the same changes that the characters in the movie are experiencing. So definitely everyone who watched that movie nine years ago is likely going to go and see this again and understand and connect with the changes that the main character is facing with all the different emotions. And on top of this, in nine years, there's a lot of newer people being introduced to the movies and to the franchise. So um, on top of everyone coming back from the first movie, you're also getting all these um, new people and new kids that weren't there to see the first one. So I think it's just a culmination of a good story, good characters, and a reason for having a sequel and not rushing and taking their time and also being able to grow with the audience while also bringing in a new audience at the same time, which is why it's just been exploding and exceeding the first movie and doing really well. But yeah, that's my thoughts on this one. Crazy numbers that uh, this film is pulling. It was a little bit unexpected. Um, you know, being the first highest grossing movie of the year already in its 14th day is pretty, pretty incredible and how quickly it's going to be reaching a billion dollars. It's exciting stuff and who knows how long this will, will be Pixar's top film for. But I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think as always and I'll see you in the next one.